Hi everybody, I'm Becca and I work at the Bethany branch of the Cedar Mill and Bethany Community Libraries and this is our first midweek three on a theme video where I will be talking about three related books that are related by theme, author, subject, um, feel of the book, anything like that. So our first theme is rock bands. So not everybody likes rock music, but I think most of us are really kind of intrigued by rock bands and musicians. Um, they're kind of mysterious. There's a lot of intensity sometimes. Everybody wants to know the drama that goes behind the scenes in making music. You know, who hates who? Why did that person leave the band? Um, what are they really doing? That kind of thing. Um, so there's some really great fiction books out there that I'm going to talk about. So the first one I'm going to talk about is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid, and it came out last summer. Uh, it is the story of a rock band in the 1970s called Daisy Jones and the Six, and their um, rise to fame and then their later surprise breakup in the middle of a concert. So Daisy Jones, the main character, she is a really um, fiery personality. She is raw. She's... Uh, independent. She's very confident. Uh, she's very charismatic. And she, the book is mostly about how she, she's a singer. She gets hooked up with this band called The Six to write and record an album and then tour with it. And it's all about how she comes in clashes with everybody, how she changes the dynamic of the band. It's how they write the music and how the band works together themselves. And it's just really a fun read. And one of my favorite things about it is that it is an oral history. So the entire book is excerpts from interviews that the fictional author has done with members of the bands, Daisy herself and the rest of the band and other people that uh, know the band members and Daisy. Um, so everybody's telling their own story of what all happened during this project. And what's really cool about that is just like in real life, everybody remembers things differently and interprets things differently. So you can have um, like on a single page, two different characters who are talking about the same thing, but it's very different. Um, and it's just a really, really fun book. And I read it last summer after it came out, right after I had finished reading the Tom Petty biography. So I had just finished reading a book that was all about a rock band, um, well, musician and how everything happened in his life. So it's kind of perfect because that was fresh in my mind. So the second book that I'm going to talk about is We Sold Our Souls by Grady Hendrix, which was published in 2018. Grady Hendrix is a really great author. He writes paranormal horror type stuff. But what he does is he takes a lot of the typical horror novel tropes and just kind of plays with them a lot and does different things with them. And his stuff's pretty funny in a kind of dark, quirky way. Uh, so this book, We Sold Our Souls, is about a woman named Chris, who was the lead guitarist in a heavy metal band in the 90s. And right as they were about to hit the big time, their lead singer, Terry, decided to leave them for a solo career. And he became wildly successful, very famous. And the other members of the band were just kind of left behind with nothing. So fast forward to the present and Chris is now works nights at a Best Western hotel in her hometown. She's broke, she's unhappy, she's lonely, she's bitter. She lives in the same house that she grew up in. Uh, things are not super great for her. And one night on her way home from work, she sees a billboard advertising the farewell tour for the ex-bandmate who now calls himself the Blind King. And she gets pretty upset about this and she decides she wants to go to LA and confront him. So along the way, she wants to pick up the other ex-band members and it turns out that he may or may not have actually sold their souls to get his own success. Um, it's got a lot of heavy metal references, a lot of 90s pop culture references, and even some super creepy UPS drivers. It's really fun. So the last book is Space Opera by Catherine M. Valenti, which also came out in 2018. And this book is just really silly and funny and awesome. Um, so basic premise of this one, it is a science fiction novel, um, which normally I'm not super into, but this one was just too great. So for thousands of years in the universe, all the sentient species um, have been fighting these crazy battles. 
And then about a hundred years ago, they decided they were done. Enough was enough. So instead, they created the Metagalactic Grand Prix, which is a music competition that all the sentient species of the universe has to compete in once a year. And when they discover new sentient species, that species has to come in and they're also required to participate. And all they have to do is not come in last. If they come in last, their species will be de um, declared non-sentient and completely eradicated. So enter Earth and humanity has just been discovered by all these species in the universe. And so now they have to come and participate in the Metagalactic Grand Prix or be completely obliterated from all of everything. So alien emissaries come to Earth and they decide who is going to participate in the contest. And all they could come up with from their long list of musicians, um, the only group that was not either dead or physically incapable of participating is an old glam rock band called Decibel Jones and the Absolute Zeros. And it's, it's just really fun. And it's all about how they get back together and how they compete so that humans can survive. And it's got a lot of um, song lyrics in it, a lot of pop culture references, and it's silly and awesome. Uh, so those are my three books this week, and um, I'll be back with more. And there will be a list on um, our website, wccls.bibliocommons.com. Under the, um, you can find it under Bethany underscore library. It'll have these three books, plus a few more that also fit the theme. And that's where you can go to place holds. Oh, they are all available as either ebooks or e-audiobooks on Overdrive and Libby.